Hello geometry students. Um, we are going to start section 8.5 angles of elevation and depression. Um, going to be a short video because I got to get this in before the basketball game starts. So um, our objectives for this video is we can solve problems involving angles of elevation and depression and we can use angles of elevation and depression to find the distance between two objects. So what is the definition of angle of elevation. Well, here you go. The angle formed by a horizontal line and an observer's line of sight to an objective above the horizontal line. So that is the key word for angle of elevation. It's above the horizontal line. And I'm sure you can probably guess then what angle of depression is. The angle formed by a horizontal line and observer's line of sight to an object below the horizontal line. So these I believe you want to write down in your packet. If there's a spot, otherwise you can um, write this down in your notes so you know. Actually, I think for some of you it might be better just to see the picture. So on the next slide, I'm showing you a picture of what angle of elevation looks like and angle of depression looks like. <clears throat> so notice the angle of elevation. We have this horizontal line, and the person, the observer, is looking above. So this would be the angle of elevation. And then um, here, the angle of depression, we have the horizontal line here and we're looking down it goes down the line of sight so this would be the angle of depression so there's a visual for you if you want to write that down feel free to do so so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be applying trig ratios in real life situations so here's my first example Leah wants to see a castle in an amusement park she cites the top of the castle at an angle of elevation of 38 degrees. She knows that the castle is 190 feet tall. If Leah is five and a half feet, how far away is she from the castle to the nearest foot? So I want you to take a moment and brainstorm what this looks like. So go ahead and draw a picture. Pause the video and draw a picture. Okay, I drew a picture here. Look at how good of a an artist I am just perfect isn't it but this is how your picture should look we're gonna be dealing with right triangles again um, the angle of elevation was 38 degrees here the castle is 190 um, Leah is standing here and she's five and a half feet tall and if you want to label your triangle you can you don't have to but now we're gonna think about what trig ratio we're going to use so we're trying to find this, how far away she is from the castle, from here to here. So we have, it looks like we're, we have, um, it looks like we have an adjacent side and an opposite side. So which trig ratio are we going to use? Very good, we're going to use the tangent of 38. Now, before we go any farther, we have to think about the opposite side here. Is the whole side or is the side of the triangle 190? It's actually from here to here. And how do we find that length of the triangle? We got to take 190 minus 5.5 5, which ends up being 184.5. So that is the height from Leah to the triangle here. So that's going to be our opposite side, 184.5. And then x, we don't know what it is, the adjacent side. So so katoa, we're doing the toe part. So we're going to solve for x. We're going to get it out of the denominator right away. So we have x times tangent of 38 equals 
So now to get x by itself, we can divide by the tangent of 38. So on your calculator, I want you to go ahead and do this. Take um, 184.5 divided by the tangent, or the tangent of 38, excuse me. And we're round, remember, we're rounding to the nearest foot. So you should get, when you round, 236 feet. If you didn't get that, make sure you make a note of that so I can help you with your calculator or see what you're putting in. Okay, let's try another example. A search and rescue team is airlifting people from the scene of a boating accident when they observe another person in need of help. If the angle of depression to the other person is 42 degrees and the helicopter is 18 feet above the water, what is the horizontal distance from the rescuers to this person to the nearest foot? So again, I want you to pause the video and go ahead and draw this, what you think it looks like. And there's my wonderful drawing again. Man, I am such a good artist. I tell you what. Okay, so here's the angle of depression, 42 degrees from this horizontal line, because this is from the helicopter. Okay, 18 feet up and down. And then um, we want to know how far it is, the horizontal distance from the rescuers to this new person that they found. Okay, now why can I say that this angle is 42 degrees? Well, these two lines are parallel. These two lines are parallel, so that's why we have alternate interior angles. So I can say those two angles are congruent. So again, we have to think about what, um, what trig function are we going to use, what trig ratio. We have, it looks like the opposite and the adjacent, we're going to use tangent again. So we have the tangent of 42 is equal to 18 over x, and it's going to be the same process as the last example, so we're going to times by x on both sides. x times the tangent of 42 equals 18, and we're going to divide by the tangent of 42. So on your calculator, make sure you take 18 divided by the tangent of 42. And when you do that, again, it's to the nearest foot, so that means the ones place. So you should get about 20, 20 feet when it's all said and done. All right. All right, that's all I have for you. And just in time, ready for the basketball game to start. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.